Reverse points of the Google Pixel 3 bringing a better selfie camera experience with some significant changes. iPad Pro design changes could have been confirmed with some new cases, as they always do. And Red Hydrogen 1 has now been showed off by the company CEO in photos. I'm Jaime Rivera, and you want to hear a joke? That's me celebrating every Friday and then ending up working every weekend. This is Pocket Now Daily. Let's begin today with deals. The Samsung Galaxy Note 9 is out. Final software arrived today for our review unit, so expect our review very soon, just running some final tests. For those of you interested, there are discounts everywhere. Buy one, get one free deals from AT&T and Verizon. There are cases like, for example, Walmart and Best Buy, where I believe they have it $200 off. And then T-Mobile has it 50% off. Obviously, there are a ton of catches here, but for those of you interested, it is a great phone. Expect our review soon. You can learn more about everything in the description. Now let's talk about the Red Hydrogen 1, the phone that we were supposed to be getting now, and it turns out that we might not get it until November. There are some certification delays, and I almost got stuck there. But the most important part is that uh, the company CEO just showed it off in press material. We have photographs now of what to expect and not just dummy explanations. Hopefully this phone pans out to be everything that's been said because, wow, that's one delay. Now you know that the coolest part is when case makers get a hold of prototypes of whatever product is going to be launched soon and the iPad Pro is the case. We were a little skeptical over the leaks of the design change of everything going vertical and the smart connector going at the bottom, but once case makers get their hands on something, it's pretty much a reality and apparently yes, the smart connector is now moving to the bottom. It means that whatever accessories you bought for your iPad Pro won't work with this one. Stay tuned for that one. Now let's talk about the Oppo R17 Pro as we've got some renders of the phone and uh, wow, there are just so many reasons why we're covering this. This whole teardrop design of the display that we saw with the Oppo F9 that's right there, ready for review very soon. Uh, well, it's coming to Vivo, it's coming to the Oppo R17 Pro, and then the back we see triple cameras, which we discussed uh, yesterday as part of the news. Now, apparently we get renders that prove it. We hear Gorilla Glass 6, great specifications. This is a product that I'm looking forward to. And finally, the hottest news today have to do with the Google Pixel 3, Pixel 3 XL. No Mission Impossible leaks now. Instead, we hear the purpose of that huge, huge notch at the front. Apparently, these uh, two cameras here are going to bring us now super selfies, where one of them is a wide angle and then the other is a regular angle camera, more like what we saw with the LG V10. Uh, I guess, but apparently there will be other software algorithms that will enhance the selfie experience even further, which comes as a, such an interesting change. In today's question, let us know, what do you think? I mean, do you think that really it's better to invest on a better selfie experience than the primary cameras at the back? As in my case, I will tell you this much. The Pixel 2 was probably one of the best cameras I've tested. But the problem is a lot of the photos seem sort of fake. Great looking, but sort of fake. So I would prefer definitely some more realism, but everywhere, not just the front. Leave us a comment down below. We'd love to know your opinion. Friends, again, if you want to get the news earlier, follow us on pocketnow.com and subscribe to both our channels, English and Spanish, for more videos like this one. You can follow me on Twitter, Jaime underscore Rivera, or on Instagram at Jaime Rivera. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw. I'm Jaime Rivera. Thanks so much for watching. We will see you next week.